what is going on Taurus it is Scorpion Reds Tarot back at it again to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of March 2019 shout out to everyone who has shown me love and support um, if anyone wants to book a personal private reading with me you can do so by clicking the about tab on uh, my YouTube page there's a hyperlink at the bottom there's a blue link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me again it says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply book me okay so and if this video resonates and if you want to give a love donation you can do so by clicking the paypal just um, in the description okay excuse me so taurus let's get into the energy for the month of march taurus Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of taurus thank you so much for all of the guidance and the protection that you have put around everyone in the sign of Taurus. I believe that the sign of Taurus has been going through a lot of personal strength and a lot of big personal change. I believe the sign of Taurus has opened up a door to new freedom. They are getting fresh air. They are getting abundance and love and light. And I feel like the sign of Taurus is kicking in the door. They are kicking in the door for success and happiness and true love and light and i thank you so much for that positive energy please give the guidance please give guidance for the sign of taurus for the month of march please continue to keep us prayed up continue to keep us covered continue to keep us in strength continue to keep us walking in faith father god and please give us additional guidance throughout our journey in the month of march certain things that we can keep in mind certain things that we can just jump ahead of and just change um and have a little bit of foresight just give us guidance dear lord about certain things that um we can look forward to and certain things that we can change in the month of March for the sign of Taurus. Thank you again for the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance around the sign of Taurus. All right, you guys, let's, let's do it. Uh -oh, I just sing Kalima. Kali ma shakti de. It's like, let me stop. I just seen Kali. Please give me guidance for the sign of Taurus. Thank you so much, Father God. Please give this sign of Taurus God. Oh, what is this pretty girl name? The angel of time working too hard. Working, working, working day and night. Come on, baby. Working, working, working day and night. Mm, 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 mm. Working, working, working day and night. Ooh, ooh, baby. Y'all remember Michael Jackson singing that joke? Ooh, ah. Ooh, baby. Mm, mm. You got me working day and night. Mm, 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 mm. Who remember that HBO special, y'all? I'm sorry. I'm showing my age, y'all. Got me working day and night, night and day. Sun up to midnight, working, working, working day and night. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I love me some Michael. Y'all don't do me. Y'all don't do me. Y'all know I seen that HBO special. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway. Okay, the angel of time. The angel of time looks fierce and stern. And that is because you need to hear her message. You see, if she appears to you in a soft, gaze it would be easy for you to overlook her message and just to continue on as if she has never visited the truth is is that you are forcing yourself beyond your limits at this time you're working too hard self-loving and connecting with the universe way too little oh so she has appeared to remind you of what it is that you are turning your world into one big machine whether you are one big cog in it Ooh, what is a cog okay anyway you are important soulful beloved being but the world of work is not going to end if you step away from its mechanics for a while it is time she says for a time out but will you listen i feel like someone is like there's a Taurus woman like she's been working like she probably has like two jobs 
And I don't feel like she has any personal time for herself. I feel like she broke away from a toxic situation and she's determined to make it and survive on her own and not have to ask anybody for anything. And she's just working herself to death. It says that um, Angel of Time speaks, I am getting straight to the point because someone really has to tell you, stop giving so much to your work, all your time, all your energy, all your passion. Take better care of your health. It is time for you to fulfill those promises that you have made to yourself but barely even gave an effort to keep. Meditate, eat well, take gentle exercise, and change unhealthy emotional patterns that are compromising your well-being. These are challenges you need to set for yourself. Gaze into a candle's flame. Write down one true thing that you love about all of your friends and pay close attention to the messages that your body sends you. Then make the changes that you need, that you know that you need. I thank you in advance for the happiness that this world makes for you a far better place. Let's see. And then it says the true message. Time to take a break from the mechanics. The technical world is needed. It's time to take a break from the electronic devices, the computer, the cell phones, the iPods, the clocks, the watches, everything. It is time to simply rest in nature's embrace. Swim in the ocean, float in the lake, walk in the forest, meditate in a cave, camping, hike, hiking, gardening would be most beneficial at this time. It is time to unwind lightly and uncoral in the spring and detach from the mechanics and the deadlines and immersing yourself in nature's truthness at its at this time. The angel of time tells you to do this now. Y'all been working yourself to death. Y'all have been trying to recover from the nightmare that you stepped away from and you've literally been killing yourself to work. You've been working yourself too hard and I feel like it's created a, a atmosphere around you to you. I don't want to say you just cold. You're cold as hell. Look at her face like she's cold as hell. Cold as hell. And you just been killing yourself. And, and, and a lot of it's because you're sleep deprived. You ain't eating right. You ain't. And you have to balance your life with fun. Things that make you smile. You know what I'm saying? If you're not smiling, you're, you know, it's no true balance in your life. The King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Alright, so I feel like some of the Taurus men, you guys have a lot of pride. You guys have a lot of strength. You guys have a lot of passion. And you are action, your goal getters, your hard workers. And the good fortune and blessings are coming to you. Good fortune and blessings are coming to you. And I feel like you just. You're rushing forward because you're trying to, you're just in a search for clarity and truth and really you want to lead yourself to victory by just using your intuition and your brain this time, this, this go around. But I feel like you got yourself hung up in a situation, you got yourself hung up in a situation where something... Something is about to happen that you don't see coming. And I'm going to need to get some additional guidance about this. I feel like this has to do with your career. Yeah. I feel like there is... Um, if there is not a Taurus man... If you if, if this is not the Taurus man, I feel like there is... Um, there is a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries in your life... That is a very passionate fire sign. He's very passionate and he's a go-getter. And I see that um, I see that you see a lot in this person. This person might be your um, supervisor or something. And I feel like you've been working hard and this person has been congratulating you a lot on your hard work because this person is a hard worker. This person is determined. This person is a go-getter too. And um a lot of good things are coming to you in in the world of career because I feel like you've been working hard and a lot 
you've been putting a lot of good out and a lot of good is coming back to you. And I feel like all of this happened because you were rushing forward, being determined, looking for self-truth. Okay? So I think that that's what they were talking about, that you might have been overindulging in self-love. Because I'm like, how could you be overindulging in self-love? But I feel like your journey, you, you've been rushing forward, looking for clarity and truth, trying to find different ways how to love yourself, trying to find different ways to change your life. And I feel like you've been working so hard and you've been vigorously busting through the door, ways in the faux faux. <laughs> with this journey of yours and I, and you're so vigorous about it like you rallying up people behind you you're like come on y'all we about to go in we just about to go yeah like yeah like you know like <laughs> you you you're just on this you're on this path right now and you're just so determined on it and i feel like anybody that's telling you to kind of slow down and that you need to just chill out a little bit. You're going a little bit too hard. I feel like you're kind of telling them off. Like, look, I know what I've been through. I know what I got to do. I'm doing this shit for a reason. Because I was hung up and I was suspended in a situation that I didn't see coming. That changed my life. And I don't ever want to go there again. I don't ever want to go there again. But at the same time, you're not even realizing that. You telling these people off, and yet you have good fortune, and you're getting good guidance from this balanced man. This man is balanced. This man um, has a lot of strength. And, you know, this is a wand here. This person has a lot of insight on how to pull off new beginnings and new development. There's a lot of wisdom here. And this person has been trying to guide you. And this person is telling you that you're on your path. But you need to slow down a little bit. But I know what I'm doing. Not realizing that you're getting your hum yourself hung up in a situation that is going to be your downfall. Because when this storm comes. And I want to say that this is something that might have to do with your health. I feel like there's going to have a lot of people, like your family is going to have to come to your house to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I feel like you're working yourself almost to goddamn death. Like you're working yourself to death because you don't want to have to ever go back to that foundation that you came. It's like, I'm already in this new castle. I got this crown above me. And I'm working hard to keep this. And I'm sturdy now. Not realizing that you're, you're creating a storm around you. Because if you collapse. And you're not able to go to work. Because you burnt yourself out. You know you're not going to be able to pay certain things. You're not going to. And, and, and I feel like this might be a collapse of like fatigue or something like that. Please give me some guidance around career for um, Taurus. Thank you so much. Please give me guidance around life purpose and career for Taurus. Protection. You're protected during this career change and everything that's going on, but I don't think that you feel like you're protected. It's something that you need to go that you ain't trying to go. Somewhere that you need to go that you're not trying to go. Energy. I feel like somebody needs to stop traveling so much. I feel like there's someone that, that, that travels a hell of a lot. And they feel like they're always back and forth between supporting your heart's desires. Yeah. Okay. So, look. I feel like... Is there any other additional messages that you have to give? Okay. Okay. So, I feel like you're working so hard because you feel like you got to protect yourself and you have to hold yourself down because nobody else has your back. But this card is saying you are safe and supported while you change your career. You are protected. You are protected. And I feel like you've been at a point where... 
you don't even want to work so hard because you feel like you're burnt out and you feeling like if you don't slow down and consolidate you just need to find one good paying job instead of splitting yourself up two or three ways because you are traveling so much they're trying to tell you stop going back and forth back and forth you're traveling too much and you're i don't i don't even think you even get in the house until like 11 30 like excuse me i don't even feel like you get out of the house until like 11 uh, uh uh get in the house until 11 30 i feel like you leave out of the house at like five o'clock in the morning and you don't get in the house until like 11 30 and then you gotta wake back up at like four or something in the morning just to do that shit all over again. And you work weekends too. You are completely burnt out. And I feel like the only thing you're doing is traveling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you are depleting your energy. And you need to you need to recharge and heal your energy. Okay? You need to replenish your energy. Energy is not something that is just infinitely given to you. It's just like an infinite abundance of it. You have to recharge energy. Same way that they tell you to put your crystals in the sunlight or in the moon to recharge it. You have to recharge yourself. Okay? I understand that you're following your heart's desire because you don't finally broke away from a situation. You're on your own. You have this newfound freedom. And listen, the angels are supporting you and guiding you are and protecting you as your reality, as your dreams is becoming a reality. They are protecting you. But at the same time, they don't want you to burn yourself out. I want you to... Read and study better ways to deal with what you're dealing with and to achieve what you're trying to achieve instead of trying to run around the way that you're doing. I feel like it's something in the book that you're missing, like a better way. That it, I feel like you're just you're you're missing. It's something that you're missing. It's something that you're missing. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance on this tower and in this career situation for Taurus. What is this tower situation? This thing that they don't see coming, that they're hung up about. So this is the five of wands. Yeah, it's like a um, it's a conflict right now in your life in regards to career. Um, and it's a conflict right now in regards to career. And I want to say that there's a competition. And I. And I say that you're working so hard because you're trying to compete. You're trying to compete, I want to say, almost to appease this, this king of um, wands here, this supervisor. But I don't feel like you really have to work that hard because this person sees a lot of you and there's going to be a lot of good fortune. You just need to calm down. I feel like you need to calm down. And if you have been rushing for it, like, with a bad attitude telling people off, I think you need to calm that shit down too. Because that's going to get you hung up in a situation where you ain't going to see coming and you could possibly end up losing your job behind your attitude. I feel like you not getting enough sleep and you not recharging your energy. And I feel like you've been being kind of snappy. And it's putting you in a situation where... It's putting you in a situation... Where you're feeling like you have to battle and compete in something that you're mentally sure that you shouldn't have to. And you, you, you're you right. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to. Okay? So, what I'm going to tell you is, pick up the book. And I want you to look deeper. Because there could be a situation and a job for you that you can knock two birds out with one stone. You can knock two birds out with one stone and you could possibly go to work for a nine to five Monday through Friday and not having to slave yourself and feel like you're having to work so hard for something that 
I don't like that energy where that, you know, that, that, where you feeling like you're having to tell people off and you're having to make sure that people are clear about your stance on certain things. And I feel like that, you know, you keep having to do that is putting you in a situation where you're getting yourself hung up. And, and do that backstabbing betrayed card. It's going to, these are endings to something. Something that you, it's heartbreak. Okay. All right, listen. I feel like, because this is about career, because normally I would jump into love, but I'm seeing so much in regards to career, and then just saying that you working too hard, and I don't, and, I, and, and, and this can also be in regards to a relationship too, you could be working too hard to have good fortune and, and, and good luck in the situation with this king of, with this king of wands. And it's like you're fighting for truth and clarity, but you're hung up on a situation that is going to eventually lead to destruction. And I don't think that you see it coming. So that could be that in regards to a love situation. But I'm really seeing this in regards to career. But um, like I said, you're protected to change in this career. Just need to stop moving back and forth. You need to recharge your energy. Focus on your heart's desires. And I feel like you need to study on a better, on a better route to maneuver in regards to career so you're not having to work so hard. You don't need to fight so hard. You don't need to battle and compete with nobody. You know everything that you need to know. And I really do feel like you could be a supervisor and be a boss. And if you've been fighting for a supervisor or a boss role, if you've been competing for a supervisor and boss role, I really do see good luck there. I do see that your supervisor is going to select you. I feel like you just need to calm your fucking attitude down because that's what's going to lead to your destruction. That's what's going to keep you hung up and going where you, the other person is going to get chosen over you because of your fucking attitude. And I feel like when people say something about it, you be like, but I worked this hard and I put in this many hours, but don't nobody care. Like, you need to chill your attitude out, though. You know what I'm saying? Get some sleep. Ain't nobody tell you to work that hard. Get some sleep and chill out. All right? And I also feel like there is an element where you're heartbroken about something in regards to your career because I feel like, I feel like no matter what you've tried to do and how much you put your heart into a situation. I don't feel like you ended up getting the results that you really wanted in regards to your career. And I feel like you're getting to the point where you are deciding that, look, I think I am working too hard. I think that I am. Wait a minute. Was that the right side? Whatever. I think, yeah, yeah, I think that was it. I think that I am working too hard. I know that I am working too hard and I don't really have to struggle and I shouldn't have to I shouldn't have to compete like that. I shouldn't have to have that much conflict in regards to something that I love. So you're taking it upon yourself to go upon your own journey and decide, look, I know my own way. I really don't need y'all to guide me. And I'm not really looking for you guys to aid me or I'm looking for freedom and I honestly see that you might be I feel like you're heartbroken I feel like you're heartbroken regarding a situation where possibly people knew what they were doing like they were sneaking around and they knew exactly what the fuck they were doing and that they were doing some underhanded shit in regards to your career to get ahead and this is those little flowers that be in funerals and shit. I really see an ending here. I, I see you walking away from, from one of your jobs. I see you walking away from one of your jobs and deciding I'm going to go on my own and possibly start my own company or something like that. Because you feel backstabbed and betrayed by someone in regards to this career situation. I feel like someone went behind your back underhandedly and tried to do something that they shouldn't have done or take credit for some work that was not theirs that you worked hard for and you didn't see that coming and it got you in a situation where it's like 
I'm going to have to go the fuck off because these people, you know, uh, you didn't see this coming and, and your colleague stabbed you in your back. They took your, they took credit for something that was yours. And you decided, I'm not going to continue to have this ongoing cycle of this bullshit with this motherfucking job. I'm about to turn my back on them and they can kiss my ass to infinity and beyond, bitch. Because one thing that they cannot take, people can say what they want from me. But one thing that they cannot take from me is the knowledge that's in my head. And I feel like you studied those books and you were the one that came up with those ideas. And you were the one that was traveling back and forth. And you were the one that was burning your energy out. And that was your heart desire. And that was your idea. And I feel like these people... These people betrayed you in regards to this career and you worked hard for it. But I feel like you had something else to fall back on and you have good fortune. And I, I want to say, if this King of Wands is not your supervisor, it's somebody that you hold of high regards that was telling you about this shit and they told you, you better off, like you good regardless. You were good regardless. So don't get yourself hung up on this situation because this situation ain't gonna work out. I just I just don't see this. I just didn't see the situation working out in regards to a career. And I feel like that you are capable and able. And if that King of Wands isn't your energy, that you're passionate and you're determined and you're active and you're steadfast and you're a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to win regardless. It's going to be a shower of abundance. It's going to be a shower of abundance coming to you in regards to your finances and career. You just need to give your burden to God, okay? And stop delaying the steady progress. I feel like there's something that you need to... Relationship and acceptance. Yeah, okay. So I feel like... I feel like... One thing that's been depleting your energy is a relationship with a water sign. I feel like a relationship went bad and I feel like you're really not trying to accept it and you're holding on to this situation with this water sign. And I really do feel like you need to take a cleansing bath and you need to cleanse your energy of this because this on top of the fact that you're dealing with this shit at work, I feel like. That is what is delaying the steady progress of this abundance that's coming to you. Because you see that good fortune there. That good fortune is coming, baby. But it's just like, you you just got a lot of whole bunch of unnecessary shit that is going on in your energy. And you're feeling like you're having to work tooth and nail. Because I feel like you just left a, a fucked up situation. I feel like you left a fucked up situation. And that's why you're working as hard as you're doing. And then you're in this situation where you feel like you're having to deal with sneaky people at work. Oh, because you don't have romantic feelings for someone at work. I feel like because you didn't have romantic feelings at work. Now, this is just one scenario. This is just one scenario that has to do with this work situation. Because like I said, I feel like there's a battle, there's a competition, there's some type of friction going on in this work situation. I feel like because you weren't, you weren't feeling the way that the other person was feeling at work, that it caused some drama for you at work. And your supervisor is telling you, you're a good worker. You work hard as shit. And you really need to chill out. I want you to chill out and take some time for yourself. Because you've been snappy. Your energy just been snappy. And it seemed like you hung up on something. And I don't want you to ruin your career here. Because you're just overwhelmed about personal shit. And you're overworking yourself at work. And they see you working long hours. And they see you... They see your dedication and they want you to thrive. But I don't think your supervisor has anything, has any idea that, you know, you are dealing with this personal situation at work. But I feel like you might have rejected somebody at your job and 
it might have possibly caused a little thrifty situation at work that you ain't asked for. But there's somebody that you're not particularly having romantic feelings for right now. This might be, now this is a whole totally different situation. There is someone from your past that wants to reconcile with you. But you're like, no, I don't want to. I'm staying optimistic about the future. All right. And um, this is not a relationship that I want to go back to and I, I want to give it a chance. I'm focused on soulmate energy because this next one that's coming to me, I know that this one could be the one, you know. And then again, here I said, this could be the one. And you realize that this one that you currently been talking to is not the one. And you know that the ex is not the one. You know that the one that's the one that's the one that's coming up soon. And you know when that energy comes, you'll feel it. You'll feel it and you'll know it's true. You'll know it's true for real. Please get towards some additional guidance for March and love because you have spent so much into this career situation. And I don't want you guys to go into any love situation where you're feeling like you're having to slave work yourself and you're having to kiss nobody's goddamn ass to get love and affection and stuff like that in order to see good fortune and see results in a situation. You do not have to kill yourself in order to see good results. If you gotta kill yourself and bust your ass like that, it wasn't for you. And maybe it's better, it's best for you that you go on your own, that you go on your own and you disconnect yourself from this organization, okay? You need to disconnect yourself from this organization. That work situation, I feel like you need to disconnect yourself from that organization. What is this? Deception. Clarify deception. Mute. Someone got you on mute. Awakening. Or you recognize some deception with some. Oh, okay. You wanted all of that? That's what we're going to do. Taurus, I feel like, listen. Either you are being deceptive or somebody else is being deceptive, okay? I feel like you, you know, this for, for my Taurus women. Especially this, this this past situation. So in regards to this love, you don't have romantic uh, feelings for this person from the past. You're optimistic about the future. And you're not looking to give this situation a chance because you're focused on your, op, uh, your soulmate. You're focused on your soulmate and you know that this one is not the one because this person from your past is deceptive. You put this person on block. You've muted this person because you don't want no parts of their energy at all. You've had an awakening. It's time to purge. And you did not see... <clears throat> you did not see the big picture and I feel like this person was blocking your dreams. This person from your past was blocking your dreams and was giving you negative vibrations. And this might be someone that you currently have kids with. And I feel like there's a dark cloud over your family at this current moment. And that this person is a negative burden over you and your family at this current time. And you've been looking for a guide and some guidance out of this situation. And you're not necessarily um, using your free will to change it. You're not, some of you guys are not using your free will. I'm getting something. Okay, listen. Because I'm breaking this down. This is, this is my ladies that this is someone from the past that they don't have romantic feelings about. And they know that they don't want to reconcile with this person. They're staying optimistic about the future. Because they're worried about their soulmate. And they know that this is not the one. This right here is for people that are still in a the situation. There's deception. This is somebody that you need to stop dealing with. That you need to put on mute. And you need to come to an awakening about this situation and purge. Okay? This person is blocking your dreams. It's negative vibrations. This is a dark cloud hovering over your family. You're looking for a guide. You're looking for some guidance. However, you're not demonstrating and using your free will. I feel like you regret continuing to 
intertwined in this situation because you know that this union is not the best and you haven't been using your intuition and you need to balance the karmic skills you need to get some balance here all right this is not a situation that you need to return to all right for the people that know that this is not a person that they want to go to you know that this is not somebody that you want to return to because these are toxic cycles and you don't want to continue the cycle within the situation with this person because I feel like in this relationship that's in the past, you already worked too hard for this situation and you decided to let that go. You decided to let that go. And you got in this work situation and you've already been in this work situation. I feel like you've already established yourself in this situation. And there's someone that came around and that was fancying you and you've been single. And possibly, you know, you wanted to hook up with somebody. You realized that this person wasn't the one. And this person decided to try to make your life a living hell. All right? And you hung up in a situation. I feel like that you've been having to tell certain people off for certain people. And um, your energy has just been all off. And your supervisor is coming to you like, girl, you got a good opportunity here. Don't fuck the shit getting hung up on certain shit. You're working too hard. I don't know what's going on in your person, personal situation. But you might need to take a time out because I don't want you to destroy your good opportunity here. And you know that this is the retrograde coming up. So you might be dealing with this crazy ass goddamn person who is like a lot of people's just liking you. But your ex is coming back and you're dealing with somebody at your job. Or just maybe your, your ex is interfering with your job. But either way, you know, you just need to take a time out. You need to take a time out. Anyway, Taurus, I love you. Um, get rid of these negative cycles. Don't be hiding no bullshit behind your back. Everybody thinking you're not dealing with somebody from your past and you're still dealing with them and this shit's causing a whole bunch of conflict in your goddamn work environment. You need to clean that shit out. Especially if you're going to work snapping on people. You got good opportunities. Let's go, Taurus. I love y'all.